In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Maya's grid size match on Engine 5. So this way, everything you create in Maya, everything you model, will match the dimensions in UE5, as well as the grid size that you have in Maya will also match UE5. So that way you have a one-to-one -one ratio of everything you create in Maya that will directly translate to the size and the dimensions into Unreal Engine 5. So this is very important to do when you are doing your own custom environment design work. So everything matches in scale and dimensions and you never have to resize or have to worry about if something's going to be off between two different pieces of software. So let's begin. In Maya, by default, here's the grid size that you get when you first install Maya and you don't do anything to your grid. Looks big enough and if you create a primitive, let's say we create a cube, it comes in, looks like it's big enough, but it's hard to tell what the actual size of this is. Now if I take this cube as is and export it from Maya and then bring it into UE5, here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to take this cube that I just exported and imported and I'm going to drag it to the level. And if I zoom in on it, this cube is incredibly small. It is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. But even then, it's hard to tell what the actual size of this is until we have a human reference scale up against next to it. So the size in UE5 for an average character height is 180 centimeters. What I do is I use a mannequin that comes with a third person template, or you can use a box and resize it to 180 centimeters in height. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up my content drawer and I already have a third person template inserted as part of this project. So I'm gonna go to characters. I have a UE4 mannequin from the previous version as well as UE5 mannequins and they will be to the correct average dimensions of a character inside the game engine. So it gives you a good scale uh, to test proportions, size, and dimensions. So I'm going to go to UE4, that's the one I like to use, and I'm going to go to meshes and just drag this SK mannequin into the level. So right away you can tell how large this cube, or actually how small this cube is. So unless you know what the sizes are, when you just take things from Maya at their default size, bring it over into UE5, then you would need to scale those meshes up by, by a lot. And that doesn't make any sense. You should have a one-to-one -one ratio. So whatever you create matches in size in Maya to UE5. And you don't have to scale anything between two pieces of software. So Maya, just like Unreal Engine 5, uses centimeters. And to check really quick and to show you exactly where that setting is at, if you go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and then Preferences, and then if you click on settings, right here you have working units, linear, set to centimeters. So right away by default you know that we are working in centimeters from Maya as well as centimeters in Unreal Engine 5. So then we just need to know how big these objects that we create. When you create a cube, by default it gets created at 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. And the way you know that is if you go into the channel box and go into the inputs tab, you have width height and depth. These values right here are in centimeters. So like I mentioned before, the height of a character, of an average character that you should aim for to create things to your environments to in Unreal Engine 5 is 180 centimeters tall and depth and width about 50 by 50. So if I select this character, the mannequin, and I go to orthographic viewport just to show you the size, the height of this, and let's say I'm going to use the front view or the side view. Let me maximize this. And I zoom in. And I use the middle mouse click and drag to get my measuring tape in UE5. And I just drag this all the way up. So you can see right there up until the height, it's about 180 centimeters tall. And that's a good standard dimension to go from. And that's what I use to create environments in order to judge my scale, proportion, and dimensions too. So that means in Maya, if I take this cube, and then I scale my height to 180 and uh, width, I usually use 50 by 50 in depth and width to kind of give, give myself some volume. Now if I go ahead and zoom out and maybe just move it up, now our grid is incredibly small. And this matches the height of a UE5 character, the UE4 or UE5 mannequin. So right away we know we need to resize our grid to make that grid larger. So let's go ahead and do that now. Go to display, grid, and click on this options box. And we're going to need to set some settings. 
So these are the default settings. So the first thing to change is length and width. This is the overall size of the grid. This is how big it appears inside the viewport. This value does not matter what you put in here. Again, units, uh, whenever you see units, just think this is centimeters. So 12 units is 12 centimeters. That's very small. And I'm going to increase this to 1000 and hit apply. So this just resizes my grid to cover a larger area inside the viewport. That's all it does. And whatever value you set here, it just needs to be large enough that you can work on. The next value is subdivisions. This should be changed to one and never touched. So let's go ahead and hit one and hit apply. So the subdivisions, once you set this, leave it alone and never come back to this value. And now to control how many centimeters each grid unit is, this is all controllable through grid lines every so many units or every so many centimeters. So right now, by default, each grid unit is five centimeters. If I change this, let's say to 10 units, hit apply. Now each grid unit is 10 centimeters. And to show you that it is true, let me move this box out of the way. I'm going to create a cube. And then I'm going to go into the inputs tab and I'm going to enter 10 centimeters across width, height, and depth. And I'm going to go to the top view or front view. And I'm just going to just make sure I snap. And I'm going to snap this cube right onto the grid lines. And you can see that it's exactly fits into that grid line into that grid space. So right there, this right here is the most important part of your grid setup. Whatever you change here will correspond to Unreal Engine 5 when you change the grid spacing. So right here, if you come up to the top viewport and click on the number right here to the grid uh, snapping, you have grid sizes or grid settings. So right here, I have set to five at the moment. If I change it to 10, and actually let me do this inside orthographics. And let me make it larger. So whatever I change here, each grid spacing is now set to 50 centimeters. If I go back down to 10, now each grid space is 10 centimeters. And this matches to this value right here. So now you can get your grid spacing to match from Maya to Unreal Engine 5. And usually when I am inside Maya, I usually set it to 10. And that's what I work with. Unless I need to lower it for one reason or another to 5 or maybe I need to increase it to 50. But basically, whatever I input here, I know that it will match, and I try to keep it true to UE5. And I mean, sometimes I even work at 20 units, but most of the time, it's at 10. So if I take my cube that I created, which is the height of a character, 180 units, and that width is 50 to 50, if I export this away from Maya, and then import it into UE5, and then drag it right next to my scale reference, it will match exactly in height and in depth to what I had in Maya and then exactly to what it will look like inside UE5. So just to prove that correct, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the orthographic viewports and I use my measuring tool. And in order to place this, uh, I'm like on a halfway grid point, I'll lower it down to five. So you know my cube was uh, 50 by 50. So if I middle mouse click and drag, this will give me 50 units across. And then of course it's going to be 180 units in height. So this gives you exactly one-to-one -one ratio between two pieces of software between Maya and Unreal Engine 5. So anything you create in Maya now will have the exact same dimensions as when you bring it into UE5. And you can be very accurate to building things to correct scale, size and proportion, and feel confident that the sizes between Maya and UE5 will be exact. And this should be your very first step that you do when you try to set up to work in Maya and UE5.